Hi, my name is Rob Ray with MP3 Car, and we're here at AFK Fest 2009. And uh, we're taking a look at uh, Mike Letcher's uh, Audi TT Roadster, and uh, he's got a, an interesting centrifuge install here. Mike, maybe you can tell us a little bit about what you've done. Well, a couple of the big things I've done is I've gone ahead and added the, the Garmin Mobile PC into it with the, the on screen keyboard here. So if I want to go ahead and navigate to anything, it's pretty simple. Go through just like a normal Garmin interface. Searching all gives me the on screen keyboard. Runs right through for me to see it. Nice and easy to get to things. It also has the Garmin online built into it. So if I want to see fuel prices within it, it just goes ahead and contacts. It gives me the, the closest current prices. Now, like, are you tethering through Verizon or a Sprint or using your phone or how's that? How are you getting I have it here? set up to do Wi-Fi as well as I can tether through the phone. Okay. Um, right now it's set up on Wi-Fi. Okay, so one of the neighbors I'm in the area here is pulling Wi-Fi around here. Giving you some signal. Exactly. Um, so I can do flight status or tell rates off of it. Um, if I view the map, there it also does spoken directions. Two miles, turn right on Boston Street. So as well as spoken street names, which is obviously a nice feature. On it, overall the direct, it's been great on it. So I, I can get pretty much anywhere with it. Um, as well as detours around things. It doesn't do traffic yet, which would be nice. How do you switch back over to Centrifuge? I actually right now have to actually close out of Garmin on this one. Okay. And I'm right there into it. Yeah, okay, cool. So the, some people have done some other things, which I guess you just uh, installed this, so you're going to fool around with some of the other options right, I've heard, getting over top of it. Right, I've heard that the Garmin Helper actually will run nice and smooth inside of it, just like everything else does. Yeah. I just haven't had time to get it config. So you've also done some uh, neat stuff with using, uh, to be able to remote control your phone. Um, which is something that we've seen a couple screenshots of on the forums, but so basically all the video that's happening on your cell phone pops up on the display. Right, and I could integrate this into if I wanted to just as an external app, but anything I want to do on my phone, I can do right here. So as I touch those, I'm touching the same thing on my phone. Right, so you have a brighter, bigger screen. Right, and things like I've got, I could have, before I was initially doing it, I have GPS on my phone as well. Right. So it gave me a full screen if I want to make this full screen to be able to see it before I had the Garmin version for that. But if I want to just look at my email or something, I can just click through it that way. Right. Or go ahead and look at some of the things, my calendar invites and things like that. Now, is that happening over wireless or your USB cable there? Or I'm USB to it right now. It has to have Active Sync. Okay. So as long as it's got Active Sync, I can get into it without a problem. Cool. Well, thanks a lot for the demo. We really appreciate you coming out to the show and uh, showing us everything that's going on. No problem. Thanks. It's been fun.